What's up? Welcome back. We've done a lot of DNT optics reviews on this channel, uh, a lot of their nighttime devices. And today we got something that's brand new that a lot of people, uh, especially those that have DNT products, ask for, and that is to have a ballistics calculator and a laser rangefinder with the Hydra. Well, DNT Optics did listen and they just released their brand new Hydra that has laser rangefinder and a ballistics calculator inside of it. So what I got sitting in front of me today is the DNT Hydra 635R, which incorporates the laser rangefinder and the ballistics calculator. So as you guessed, it works just like a lot of their uh, other products that incorporate the LRF and the ballistics calculator, same type of menu settings and whatnot that we've previously reviewed on the channel. So I have this sitting on my 11 and a half SBR, which I have on here. This is one of the one of the rifles that I didn't have an optic on, so I figured I'd slap it on here. My usual thermal gun is currently going over a makeover and currently disassembled in my garage, which is my AR-10 and 308. So, but we're gonna shoot some rounds here. I got a target at around 50 yards with some aluminum foil. We're gonna get this thing zeroed. Zeroing process is the same as all the other DNT optics. Uh, you're gonna shoot around, freeze the frame, go back to your aiming point, and save it. Uh, once you do that, you are zero. That's their one shot zero. And I gotta say, this 635 is just phenomenal. Like the amount of stuff I was able to capture, I've not only am I shooting this on a rifle today, but I've been taking this guy out as a handheld device when I'm bow hunting. And before, I'm the type of guy that gets out early. I mean, I'm out there two to three hours before the sun comes up. Uh, I like to get, you know, set up in my spot, let everything quiet down and just kind of enjoy that, that morning portion. But I was always curious on what's out there, like in the middle of the night, like, I've heard noises in the past. I said I'm not afraid anymore. And always wondered what was out there. So I ended up bringing this guy as a handheld and I would scan and man, it is addicting to scan out there when it's still super dark and the stuff that you capture or see. For example, being out there the first day, uh, bow season, I was able to capture a super young buck coming in just you know, chilling out, eating my corn. And then we had a shooter buck that came in and I was able to like watch these bucks 20 yards in front of me that otherwise I wouldn't be able to see or didn't even know they were out there. And you know, you end up spooking them away. But it was a good way for me to see what was actually out there because in my area, I'm not allowed to put up cell cams. So not just that, but we also caught owls fighting. We had a coyote that came in and, and started, you know, scaring off a buck that was running around all crazy. Uh, the other day I caught three bucks just coming in, just doing all kinds of weird stuff. So super interesting, super awesome. This is a literally a three in one device. Uh, you can use it as a clip on, which I've, you know, clipped this on in front of my LPVOs or some of my three by scopes and it is just awesome. Um, or you can use it as a standalone like we are using right now. And then, like I mentioned, you know, using it as a, uh, as a handheld, which I love using the, this as a handheld. Uh, we do have this on their new QDM 150 mounts. So I'm literally able just to take this off, use it as a handheld device, if, you know, when I'm bow hunting. And then when I want to use it on my rifle, I can literally just clip it right back on. Yeah, but like, I mean, the resolution on this guy is just absolutely amazing. Um, so this one, in particular, the 635 is going to be a 1.5 by 6. Uh, 1.5 is going to be your closest magnification. And as you say, you get the HS325, uh, the closest magnification is going to be 2. Uh, and then if you drop down, 1 is 3. So the higher you go with uh, the numbers in the, in the Hydra lineup, so the 635 comes in at about 1.5, which is perfect for what I do. Uh, like I said, I do take this guy out bow hunting, so I need to be able to see up uh, rel relatively close, especially when I'm up saddle hunting in a tree. One thing I liked about the, uh, when we did the review on the Thermonite was I love that holdover feature. And just to have that in thermal now is pretty awesome as well. Uh, Cause I did send the Thermonite back uh, after the review is done. So this is gonna be 
pretty cool. Uh, now I do want to purchase this one. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is actually purchasing a unit for myself. DNT did send this out to us to test and review. And uh, this isn't even out on the market as I'm shooting it right now. But once you guys watch this video, it will be. But I will definitely be picking up one of these guys because this thing is just absolutely amazing. The amount of stuff that you can do with this is, is pretty awesome. And I love that you have the quick detach mounts. Uh, so you're able to take it off relatively quick without having to worry about, you know, screwing stuff out. And right now we're building a setup uh, that is also going to be on the channel here soon. We're building or getting ready to, to make over and do an AR-10 with a magnified scope that is a quick detach. So we're able to quick detach that scope, throw this guy on, and we have just a dual purpose setup. Yeah, so I got some aluminum foil here. We got, a, we got set up at around 50 yards. And man, I can see that foil just sticking out. Like it is just aluminum foil, man. It works every time if you're trying to zero thermals. You can see that stuff relatively quick. And man, even during the day, this thing is pretty sweet, if I say so. So as far as the menu buttons, it is still pretty much the same. It has changed slightly uh, just because there's a couple different features on here. This particular model does have the uh, PIP, so picture in picture mode. So you're, you're able to have a, you know, the minimum magnification as your main screen. And then at the top right corner, left or right side, wherever you pick, you can have a zoomed in uh, of that reticle. So you can actually see uh, you know, up close of what the animal is or what the target is. So it is pretty nice to have that, that very zoomed in profile. So you can just scan out, pick something out, look at that top window and then be able to kind of fine tune it from there. Okie dokie. So we just checked. We are a little bit off the paper. So I know where we're at now. We're going to go into the zeroing profile. And then what we're going to do is freeze the frame. Go back to our aiming point. And now go to our X and Y axis and go to our impact area. And we're gonna save it. It's last time doing the uh, Zulus. I didn't save it and then I was all jacked up. Save, boom, and we're good to go. All right, so let's take another shot to confirm. All right, let's go down there and check it out because I can't see it on here. All right, so we're just a little, little tad to the right. So we're going to go back to uh, zeroing. We're going to freeze our frame again. All right, now we should be good. Let's take a shot. One more for good measure. And I'm pretty sure I see those impacts on the on the foil. All right, let's go check. Hopefully I did it right this time. Yeah, so now we're good. All right, now we are set, we are zeroed. So remember, point of aim, pan freeze, then scroll to your impact, save, and then your center. So we are dead on, good to go here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transition We'll hit the 100 and then maybe we'll, we'll ping out a couple more targets a little further distances. All right, so I've transitioned here to 100 yards. I plugged in all the information, all my data for my Chrono and my Kestrel into the Hydra. The ballistics uh, data works the same as all their models. So you, there's an actual menu in there. You go in there, you can put everything in from your, your BC to your bullet length to the temperature, what caliber you're using, the whole nine yards. So I plugged everything in here accurately as best as I could. 
Uh, there are a bunch of different modes on here when it comes to that. So what you can do is you can either pick the dial-in option or the holdover option. Uh, and the holdover option is the one I prefer. I range a target, it gives me my holdover automatically, it tells me exactly where I need to aim. Now, when we range, so there's a little button on the side here for the laser range finder. And also you have menu settings in here that you can do different things with the laser range finder. So if you wanted to, to be in continuous mode, you can pick that option. Or if you just want one press, one range, you can do that as well. There's a, another pulsing option where every three seconds, I believe, it, it, you can, it gives you your, your actual distance. So, but we're running with the holdover option and just a single press of the button. Um, yeah, so right here is kind of what's new in the Hydro, which is the LRF, the BC. I don't know if you guys seen that earlier, but all right. So let's take a couple shots here. Let me top off this mag because I'm empty. And we will take some shots downrange on some steel targets. Alrighty, let's first let's check this ballistics calculator. So if I go down here, let's see if it'll change my holdover. And it does. See, see how it gives you that little green box there where you need to hold right above your red. That's pretty cool. Tells you some information there on the right hand side. Let's do it one more time here. Well, it helps if I don't block the laser rangefinder with my hand. There we go. So it tells you the little box. So let's shoot this guy right here. Boom. All right, let's send it. There it is. Pretty cool. Let's change some of the color modes here. And then if you just press and hold the LRF, all that data goes away. So if you need to reset something, uh, you can do that. So let's play with some of the color settings here. Zoom in a bit. Let's try some of black hot here. Let's get that little rectangular target. Range that guy. Cool. Very awesome. All right, so that's at 100 yards. So now, let's transition over to the long distance area and see how far we can take it. Probably not super far, this is an SBR and we're shooting some uh, just really cheap green tip ammo. So let's pack it up, head over there and do some distance shooting and change up the reticles a little bit and go from there. All right, now we are set up at the uh, long distance area so we got targets out all the way out to about 1200 but obviously we're not shooting 1200 yards with this uh sbr uh this thing's fun to shoot i just love this thing uh there's times when i just take this thing out in the backyard and just look at stuff like the other day we caught a caught a black hawk flying over our house that was pretty pretty neat um seen some planes obviously now not while it's mounted but seen some planes up in the sky with this thing like it is just this thing has so many possibilities and uh i mean that the quality for the price and what you're getting like it, it's pretty good you know the awesome thing is too like let's say you get some hawks and you know depth perception at nighttime whether it's night vision or just with uh thermals like it's a thing so like you can be looking through some thermals and guesstimate you know oh yeah it's two three hundred yards but it could be you know less than that could be more than that uh it's hard to guesstimate distance at night with night vision and thermals but now you got that laser range finder and it gives you exactly what what uh what distance is whatever object that you're looking at is 
and gives you the holdover to be able to engage that target. So pretty neat. All right, let's see what we can see. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Here, let me record so you guys can see. But here's the here's the targets. That target, right? Where is it? Uh, like that's a town back there. Pretty far though. So for example, like that town. You know, that's a couple miles away, but like, look at that. Like it's popping out on thermals. And don't worry, like there's nowhere, ain't no round touching out there. <laughs> but you know, the, the point I'm trying to make is look how far, like for example, like right here, all those buildings back there. I like see that building and it's super far away, but in the thermals, it looks like it's a lot closer, but it's not. All right, so. Zoom in here. It's a plate right there. We'll hit that plate. Let's range that thing. All right, so 200 yards. It's giving me my holdover right there. And it's pretty much should be dead on because we're zeroed at 50. So let's see if we can hit it. Can't tell. Is that a plate? There we go. Zoom out a bit. Got that. All right, let's go for, again, some of these targets, it's kind of hard to see what they are, but Let's range that. 260. There it is. We'll hold the right edge. You know, the temperature contrast difference during the day versus at night, you know, it does play a factor into that thing. So obviously we're using it during the day, so it's not gonna do this thing a lot of justice. But, you know, I, I did show you some handheld footage where it actually, how, what it actually looks like during nighttime. Uh, also too, the recordings, you know, the recordings vary uh, on what it actually looks like through the optic. It looks way better if you're looking through the optic than if you're looking at it at a recorded view. Um, but the recordings don't do this thing justice. Uh, this optic right here, like a three in one optic, like you, for any hunting, for just having it on hand in case something happens in the world or like you need to be able to fight at night or just you wanna get out at night and be able to see things if something ever happened, uh, this is a very good option. And especially incorporating the ballistics calculator, the, the laser range finder in here just makes it so much versatile that uh, like you gotta have one, you know what I mean? Uh, very modular, very cool setup. That is all I have for you today. I am low on ammo and it is starting to get hot out here. So I'm gonna head back and start working on another project. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Shoot straight and I'll see you guys in the next one.